As was the case with the previous restrictions, local law enforcement is tasked with making sure businesses follow the new rules. While police may do random compliance checks, it'll largely be a complaint-based system. Reporter John Kipper tells us what Governor Ricketts recommends you do if you see a business not following the rules. Do it the Nebraska way. That's how Governor Pete Ricketts says you should handle businesses that aren't complying by the new rules. Could the police go in and write a ticket? Yes. I think a better, the Nebraska way is really, let's just start by talking to people. Those new guidelines include restaurants keeping less than 50% capacity and all employees in masks. Police can write a ticket, but Ricketts first Those wants you to start that. a conversation. If somebody sees somebody who they think is not doing the right thing, first thing you do is you could just go talk to them, ask them, say, hey, can you do a better job here? Generally, when we've reached out to people, businesses, for example, that we thought could do a better job on social distancing, they've been willing to accommodate. These new rules also include religious services, which have to keep families six feet apart and clean the place of worship after each service. While that somewhat limits the capacity, that could still lead to over 100 people in one building. Rickett says, well, that's not ideal. It's an exchange he's willing to make. We want churches to be able to help us reach out to those communities because they're trusted, they're in the same languages, and that's one of the ways that we can reach those communities about the importance of social distancing. So there was a cost-benefit trade-off we made with regard to that. Unlike restaurants and salons, religious services are allowed throughout the state beginning Monday, but some are electing to remain closed. Reporting in Lincoln, John Kipper, 3 News Now.